So unless I'm missing something, they've already, I don't know, lied's a pretty strong word, but they've already insinuated. <laughs> Welcome back to the cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker Flipper. I haven't made that mistake in a while. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. If you haven't subscribed to Commonwealth Picker, you can go over there. But uh, and if you haven't subscribed here, you can do that here. Hey, I've got a topic today. You know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you may have seen you might be a reseller part one and you might be a reseller part two. And I keep that stuff really, really positive. But I don't often get into the negative stuff. This isn't terribly negative, by the way. But there are certain things as a reseller that happen that, that makes you scratch your head, right? Those people that ask you to accept an offer on something, you're like, okay, I'll accept the offer, and you accept it, and then they never pay, right? Those kind of things. Well, I've got one of those kind of things today that I think irks me a little bit, unless somebody out there can explain it to me better than I'm kind of navigating my way through it. But we have some cool sales, as we always do. Let's take a look. By the way, if you're new to the channel, first of all, my name is Kevin, but secondly, there's always a topic to the video. It's in the thumbnail. It's in the title. But I usually don't get to it till four sales after we begin, five sales after we begin, somewhere around there. There's always somebody who comments like, get to the point, you know, you're wasting your time. This video is actually about what sold, among other things. But uh, if you uh, are anxious for the topic ever and you watch the channel, just skip ahead four sets. So usually between four and six minutes in. Not all the time, but usually... That's where the topic is. And that's when we'll get to today. So we got a couple of sales here out of the plush. Not high dollar sales. Let's see, this is one of them, a ballerina kitty. And the other should be, hmm, this is in the Kevin. There's two places I put these because I didn't fit. Actually, it's right there. There it is. It's a, it's a vintage bunny, plush bunny. I got this out of a box. The box was sitting there at this sale at the 21. I couldn't find... Uh, the escape from the interstate sale. I couldn't find much of anything that morning. I was struggling, and that rarely happens. And I saw this box full of plush, and it was like make an offer sale. I'm like, really? Okay, this box full of plush. And I look at them, and I'm like, hmm. There's like eight of them in there, maybe seven, I don't know. And nothing stood out like, hey, that's amazing. But I remember back to a couple years ago where I started to buy Easter bunnies, just old vintage Easter bunnies, and you could get like 10 bucks for them all the time. They didn't even have to be a, a very good brand name. And I'm like, well, make an offer for the box. I'm like, I'll give you a couple bucks. They're like, sure. And so a bunch of little sales like this, I think $11 and $10 out of that box so far. And there was like eight different things. I mean, we'll end up making like over $50 profit on that box. And they were super easy to list and they'll be super easy to ship. Okay, I'm going to totally take that back. This was $11. This was $14 plus shipping. I mean, you can't beat that right there. And this over here sold as well. And I cannot remember how much that one sold to a viewer, though. And I'm going to read that to you. I bought this from a young man at the yard sale. I think they were asking a buck. I think. I might have paid five. But everything in there, I believe, is brand new. Let me open it real quick and see. It's still in the packaging. So that one ended up going to a viewer. It used to be up there. See where the color surprise is? It used to be up there. And I took it down earlier today. Because I knew that uh, we sold it. This one sold for $28.45. And I never do this, but I just happened to find this one today. Uh, Kristen and your son bought this. I think that's right. And, or you bought it for your son. Christmas gift, I think is what it was. And you didn't leave a message on the messaging system. It was in the... Or you didn't leave a message on the purchase, but it was in the messaging system. But I actually found it because I remembered reading it earlier today. My son and I are new to reselling and have been watching and learning from your channel and really enjoy your content. He, meaning my son, is a big Star Trek fan and this will make a perfect Christmas gift. P.S. I love my Commonwealth Picker canvas tote bag I bought in July. Awesome. So we have, those are a bunch of tote bags going out today. We have more, although by this point they might all be sold out. I'm not sure. We did a slow release over time so people had a decent chance to get them. Thank you for the purchase and I hope your son enjoys it. I'm very happy about this sale right here because I need another hat bin. My hat bin is overflowing way back there and I have three more bins inside of hats that I need listed. So I'm like, it's finally time to get a second hat bin and hats have been selling pretty well lately actually. 
and which reminds me of something, which is why I put that on the TV back there. These two sold. These were probably the worst buys, I guess, quote unquote. Uh, don't tell Blue Ridge Mama that um, because these are still pretty good. The Sun Rubber Company. There's a bunch of great Sun Rubber stuff. But uh, these two sold. They were 99 cents a piece. They sold together for $16.10. And those were probably the worst of the bunch that she bought. She bought a ton of great ones for 99 cents a piece. And these are all pure profit at this point. Probably going to make around $12 profit on those guys right there. And they're headed out and need to sell these. If anybody wants any kind of creepy looking dolls for Halloween, make me an offer. I got to get all this stuff out of here so I can make a second hat bin. And that's what I was going to tell you about hats. Uh, you know, Chernock's connection is like the pro of hats. I absolutely love talking to him about hats. He gets me excited. But I saw this video the other day, Cameron over at Gravity Goods. He gave some really good tips in this short about hats. You can go check it out. Before I jump into the topic for just a second, a quick reminder, Uncle Mark's garage sale down in Youngsville, North Carolina, just outside of Raleigh. Uh, that's going to be Saturday. So when is this video coming out? Friday, I guess. Maybe you're hearing this after it's happened. I don't know when you're listening to it. But uh, go check out GarageSaleNation.net, and you can find the one outside of Raleigh. You can click on that one and see if you can find the Youngsville Uncle Mark's Garage Sale on Yardaroo over there. And we'll be out there, so uh, free coffee at 8 o'clock, 8 till it runs out. Free tacos at 11, but only if you've got a ticket. And if you're hearing this now, it's likely you don't have a ticket unless somebody surrendered theirs. And you can check the link tree for the Eventbrite for that and go to Garage Sale Nation Facebook group. You can find out information over there as well. Okay, here's the item that got me a little bit uh, perturbed, I guess we should say. And maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I think people just aren't being honest to me. Uh, I'm not quite sure. But I sold this last week. I don't know if you remembered it or not. But I made a mistake on sale. And I think we had it listed. I think the one mistake, one, where, one place in the description or title or somewhere, we had that it had 18 slots instead of 15. And one place it was right, one place it was wrong. And I sent a message and I'm like, hey, and I didn't hear back. I'm like, hey, I'm going to cancel the order. I don't want to send the wrong thing and have you get mad. It's going all the way out to Oregon, which is crazy shipping for something like this. And I get a little hesitant that people see the mistake and then they buy it because they want a refund. And then I saw after the fact a message. And I'm like, really? This person wants me to do all this for this item? And then I relisted it correctly and the same person bought it and asked for the same request. And I'm going to tell you about it. And by the way, it sold for $20.90 plus shipping. There's a video when we picked all this stuff up. It is over on Garage Sale Nation channel. And you can go down to Private Picks in the playlist and you can find it all or nothing or something like that. At any rate, hi, I'm using a shipping address where I'm getting my recently purchased 8-tracks serviced. Okay. So first of all, this person didn't purchase 8-tracks. This thing doesn't need serviced right? I think this person deals in 8-tracks. I think that is ma the majority of what this person deals in, is 8-tracks, right? And so they're a specialist, they have some kind of 8-track site, maybe a Facebook group, who knows? And they sell, the, they sell these things on there. They're essentially drop shipping. And let me read the rest of it. I'm going to try to leave out the names. We'll say JC here. <laughs> That's not Jesus. Well, you get the point. This is the name of the address here, right? A person's name, 8-Track Avenue, then they give a P.O. box in Oregon, United States. Please, could you send this item to the registered eBay address above? Okay, and that's what it says. That's what it's listed. So it's not like they're asking me to send it to an address that's not on there. They actually took the time to put that address on there, which they should do if they're a drop shipper, right? But unless I'm missing something, they've already, I don't know, lied's a pretty strong word, but they've already insinuated that they are going to, you know, be servicing these eight tracks before they're going on to somewhere else. All right, which, of course, unless I'm missing something, it's just not true. All right, here we go. The, here's the second part of the message. Could you also please include in the packaging a note with my personal details? So this is opposite from a lot of drop shippers, right? They're like, they don't want the person buying it to know that they're a drop shipper, that they bought it from somebody else because then they realize, hey, maybe I can get it cheaper. If they're getting it cheaper and selling it to me, they're, they're the middleman. Okay, so this is a different one, right? They want a personal note put into the package itself before it gets sent on, sent on so that they really do think it's from that person. Does that make sense? Am I making sense here? There's my old teaching days coming out. Am I making sense here? And the kids would nod, you know, they're like, no, you're crazy. And then I'm like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, let me keep going. So now the package has a personal note in it, 
and it is supposedly supposed to be for John, the person who is doing JC, right? The same person here. Sorry if I gave away a name, but I guess it's a first name. To figure out uh, who it's eventually going to, right? Well, it's because they're a drop shipper. They're taking that item and they're reshipping it on to somebody else. This one's going to the UK. So it's going from here to Oregon and then to the UK. Imagine how expensive that's going to be, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. And then it says, okay, here's the address, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then info at, and then I'm supposed to put their, their email address, excuse me, their website in the package itself, put their, their website in there, email address, and a thank you. So, hmm, that is interesting. Tell me what y'all think of this. I feel like it would just be much easier for the person to tell me, Hey, I'm a drop shipper. This is ending up over here. Would you please do me a favor and put the address in it? Here's why. What do you think? <laughs> Just be, I'd do it. I'd do it. You know, that's a lot of work. If, you know, how many people out there would be like, cancel? I thought about it, but I didn't do it. All right, I spared you me digging that thing out of the Montana bin. Speaking of, Troy Mountain Man Treasure is going to be there at the Uncle Mark's garage sale, by the way, along with some others. Romper Room Truck. Bought this for like 50 cents at a sale. I'm like, that thing looks vintage. And I looked at it and said, Romper, I'm like, oh, it'll sell $12.30 plus shipping. But this is something that's kind of annoying as well. But this time it worked out really, really well. Let me read it to you. All right, this is going out to Adam. And he says, Accident I've addressed this in a video before. Accidentally accepted your offer because I have one of these available on eBay as well. that has the front grill. And I thought I was accepting an offer. And we've talked about that before. And he says, oops, oh well. We watch your channel almost every night. We decided to go ahead and make the purchase. That is very, very, very kind of you. You did not have to do that. Maybe I'll see if I can throw in an extra sticker or something for you. Just as a thank you for that. That's very, very awesome. But that is something that they very easily should and could fix on eBay. It's happened to me before. And I know it's happened to some people out there because they tell me in the comments. But here we go. There we go. I like this guy here. Just give us a shout out. <laughs> Maybe I'm, I probably shouldn't read this. Uh, maybe get our store moving. Here we go. 1987 Picker. I think that's what it says. I got a little, yeah. 1987 Picker. Very, very cool. Maybe I'll have to go check out your store. Thanks for all the great content, Adam and Nicole. Nickel? Look, it says Nickel. Is that Nicole? Nickel? I don't know. Uh, looking forward to seeing this on your show. Well, thank you, Adam and Nickel. Appreciate it. This one, I think, is a viewer. Mac, I think, bought this. Mac, I think you're a viewer. I could be wrong, but it feels like I saw a message on there somewhere. And this is a DVD, which I don't sell often, but, you know, they're worth looking at. And they will tell you that NC Picker, NC Flipper, from time to time, although he's trying not to buy as many, and now I can't find it, of course. This is, here it is right here. Friends, uh, let's see, Finders Keepers. And this is Peep and the Big wide world and it was new sealed which is why i picked it up and pbs is another reason to pick them up and check them out this thing sold for 49 dollars, 49 bucks it was at that sale with md picker where she found <laughs> she found that incredible lisa frank bag and i was like oh this is like my consolation prize you know a buck into 49 dollars. so i'll take it you know I love it when I'm getting rid of shoes. I'm trying to downsize those bands. Nike Air Max. They're not in great shape. Kids toddler size. Uh, but we still got $15 plus shipping. Didn't clean them either. This one right here, I have... This is a shirt, obviously. So it's usually on the inside. But I had it on my list out here for some reason. So I went in and grabbed it. Check it out. Yuma, Arizona. Right there. 50th anniversary. Sturgis Black Hills Motor Classic. So Demented is from, okay, so I see it's a sponsor. So that's a pretty cool shirt. It is old. Single stitch. This is Signal Tag here, made in the USA. And that thing is cool. It's a size medium, but it's a vintage medium. It's pretty small. And I man, if I didn't get it at that sale, I don't know where I got it. This thing's been hanging around a long time. And a viewer bought it. Went to Chad... Um, his YouTube is, I can't even pronounce it, Z-O-S-O-A-C-E-R-O. -O -O. How do you pronounce that? He says, love watching your YouTube channels, always learning. That is a really cool shirt, and I'm glad you got it. $22.80 free shipping. I'm going to go back and look. Maybe somebody can tell me if it, it was in the Mount, Mount Plushmore sale, because we're keeping track of that one. We just haven't had a sale on it for like, I don't know, 
a year and a half because we've sold all that stuff. I really must have lost my mind because I got another shirt on my list. I don't know what I was thinking when I was writing my list out today. Shirts I usually reserve for inside, but let's see. It looks like I have a bunch of sales in there too. And this was a Blue Ridge Mama Goodwill buy. <laughs> Some of y'all are like, seriously? They didn't mark this one up. It was $3.99 at the Goodwill. $3.99. So, I mean, you can't beat that. Brand new with tags flannel from Ralph Lauren. $39.20 on that one, I think, plus shipping. All right, y'all, I'm keeping the AC on in here because it's a little bit hot. Blue Ridge Mama has done all this shipping. See, I admit it when she does all this shipping. Look at all that. I was upstairs recording the podcast, and she did all that work. All right, Turner, you sold something. I can't believe it. Was this yours? Yeah, it was mine. It was yours, and you sold it, so you're going to get all of this money. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I like it. So tell them what it is. It's a YouTube channel. The YouTube channel. I, I watch all the time. That you watch all the time. My sister watches them too. Their name is FGTV. FGTV. And these are their little toys. Yeah. Shout out FGTV, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching that for years, haven't yeah. you? And I actually watch it too sometimes. It's, it's hilarious. fairly entertaining, I gotta admit. <laughs> For sure. So this is FGTV Duddy, right? Mm -hmm. And then who's this? This is their mascot. That's their mascot. Yeah. Okay, it's not one of them. Okay, I didn't know they had a mascot. We have a mascot right yeah. there. <laughs> all right, and that sold for ten dollars plus shipping, I think. So you're gonna get all of it. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna get. Let's see. It's probably. I don't know. Let's say you make six dollars profit, even though you'll make more. So you get two dollars to save. $2 to spend and $2 to donate. <laughs> all right, buddy. You're going to help us package those up yeah. since they're yours and you're getting all the money yeah. today. Thanks. Bye. So the second to last Callaway glove from the golf course sale. We do the lost and found sale over there every year. And in return for those great deals, we buy things that they can't get rid of and make a small margin. And that's what this is. So we're only making a few bucks, but sold for $12.30. And we only have one glove to go. Two more club head covers here, TaylorMade and Nike. $14 plus shipping, I think, or $15 plus shipping for that Sasquatch Mock Speed 5. And then TaylorMade sold for $13 plus shipping. Sold that turkey hat that I was talking about on yesterday's show. Sold a turkey hat yesterday, wild turkey bourbon, for $39 plus shipping. This one didn't sell for as much, which is why it's out here, because I grabbed it yesterday. It's the National Wild Turkey Federation Golden Gobbler hat from 2003. I got a box full of these for free. I'm like, do I really want to bother? And this is the last one, I think, that we sold them all. Not for very much. This one went out on clearance. Let's see, $5.70 plus shipping. Hey y'all, this shirt's been hanging around a while, literally. And I did a sale just on clothing. I put a 20% off sale on clothing. So this sold for like $12.60 plus shipping. Trying to clear out some space just to make the move out into the other shed a little easier. This is long tails right here, pearl snap. It's nothing amazing and the condition isn't even great. But I used to pick these up all the time and I don't pick them up as much anymore unless they really have a cool design or something impressive about him. But this is a pretty cool shirt, for sure. I think it's cool. Cowboy cut, $12 and change plus shipping. And this one's about the same, $12.80 something right here. Tassa, Tassa Elba. Happy this one is gone. Probably not a great buy to begin with. But both of them I'm gonna make money on, so I'm okay with that. And they're headed out the door. Sold some Avon. What do you know? Nail polish, Blue Lagoon right here and I bought a whole box of it up at the where was I at oh it was up at the Hillsville flea market bought it up as a at a private sale an amazing interesting place didn't find a ton there but it was just beautiful sold it for eight dollars plus shipping and last but not least sold an NWO decal WCW decal and that one went to a viewer actually I want to say something else went to a viewer they said uh, thanks Kevin they knew my first name, so I'm assuming that was a viewer, and Cheryl was the name. So one of those, I think, two shirts. But uh, thank you for that. appreciate it. This one says, thank you, Kevin. This is going to be one of my brother's wedding gifts. Interesting. Always appreciate, ha ha, she says, or he says. Always appreciate the hard work you put in the content creator, seller, buyer, and family man. You are all an amazing influence. Well, thank you. I appreciate that sincerely, John. 
Shaggy's Attic. I like that name. That's really, really cool. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. And I hope your brother enjoys that decal. I buy, I buy my brother stickers. Stickers. I buy my brother WWF stuff and vintage wrestling stuff all the time. And we both kind of share that bond. I remember going to the video rental place. There was no Blockbuster back then. Before all that, just privately owned stuff. And we would go in and we would rent wrestling VHS. And we just absolutely loved it. And my mom would be like, no, you're not getting a v you're not getting the wrestling VHS. Because she wanted to get something she might want to watch, right? But she used to she used to give in and let us get it anyway. Alright y'all, I got Reagan working overtime because she's already done this and I don't Someone know what I do with it. it. I, wonder who that <laughs> was. I love that shirt, by the way. Thank you. Very cool. Alright, what do you got? Uh Larry, Macy, Chris. Tim. I think it's Massey. Massey? Yeah. Chris, Taryn, yes. Taryn. I want to say Tara, but it's Taryn. Mac, <laughs> Jeanette, Ivan, and Lisette. That's right. Ivan, our buddy Ivan. Mm -hmm. Thank you all very, and very much. Yeah. Lisette is Betty Boop. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh, and I think, yeah. Betty Boop on YouTube and eBay. And then Posh is my purpose on right. Poshmark, I'm okay. guessing. Very cool. And all kinds of stuff selling like crazy out of here. We appreciate it. Bye, and don't forget your sticker at CommonwealthBigger.com. All right, y'all, don't forget Uncle Mark's garage sale. I'd love to meet a bunch of you down there. Um, it should be, depending on when this video airs, it should be here pretty darn quick, right? Tomorrow, maybe? I don't know. I, I've got, I filmed two videos today. It's all kind of jumbled together. I can't figure it out, but Uncle Mark's garage sale. Check it out, GarageSaleNation.net, Garage Sale Nation Facebook group. Check my link tree, and you'll see a link to it. If you're interested in going, everybody's invited. And uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, Shed. Shed announcement here. Shed sponsor. We're going to announce that. Some of you have figured it out already. I've put on different platforms, but we're going to talk about it a little bit more tomorrow. We're going to be out there in the shed. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe two days from now. Out there in the shed, and we'll be talking about it and thanking our new shed sponsor and asking you guys to uh, use that sponsor. And they're giving you a discount as well, so we're pretty excited. So thank you very much for joining us. And I can't wait to see you next time. All right, y'all, check this out. This looks like a gift for Reagan. Well, it's actually for pets. See? It's, oh, it's for the, Oh, I see. So it's. It squeaks. It's for Sophie. It's a hedgehog. I'm sure the cat's will That's a little that. dangerous. We're going to teach him to play with a hedgehog. Ooh, his mom was back there shipping everything while I'm filming. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty cool. So it's for yeah. the pets. I didn't get that. All right, there's another box back there too. By the way, we gotta figure out who this came from here. And, oh my goodness, look at that. D-O-K-K-E-N is our actual real last name. Jennifer, very, very cool. On Mercari, Chelsea Carved. Ooh, you like it? Is that right? Yesteryear oh, like Carousels on eBay? Yesteryear yeah. Carousels on no, eBay. You like it? Yeah, he's loving all over. Y'all, thank y'all so much. And look oh. at that message. Holy cow, that's awesome. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Please let Pepper, the black cat and no name. Oh, look, look oh, who's in here. in here. No, they will be included next time with treats. Uh, sorry, I was fresh out. Okay, well, very still cool. Play with this that is awesome. And I got a plate, Oklahoma plate. They said uh, this is Oki for y'all is Oki for hello. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. That'll find its way in the new cabin. Mm -hmm.